Aging out of the foster care system can be tough, especially if you don't have a place to live. 13 News reporter Elaine Ball caught up with one organization providing one big service under a tiny roof. You may have heard of tiny homes, but for those in the foster care system who are transitioning from youth to adulthood, this lifestyle could be their first step towards a better life. Stepping Stones Incorporated in Wayne County understands the struggles of aging out of the system. Sometimes our older youth needs are maybe not as prioritized, especially need the emotional support as well as the guidance and the mentoring to help. Stepping Stones is doing just that by bringing in tiny homes for area youth 16 to 21 years old to live in as they move out of foster care. The houses are delivered in two pieces and so far there's only one, but there are more on the way. The first home was recently delivered and is currently being set up. Stepping Stones Assistant Director Ramona Preston says she believes with the current pandemic impacting the community, the first delivery was perfectly timed. But without a little help, it wouldn't have been delivered as soon as it was. We realized we could not do this alone. So we've had help from, um, initially help from a lot of funders. Businesses like Unicare of West Virginia, Cabell Huntington Hospital, and Toyota have donated resources and funding to help get the project going. The Braskem America Neal plant in Canova also cleared out the area where the tiny homes would be built. The West Virginia Department of Education has also played a part in this project. Our county uh, education CTE programs um, took this on as a project. So our Wayne High School students designed the blueprints and our Tulsa High School students actually built this one home. The program also includes a sweat equity factor that the resident has to make. However, the tiny homes are not meant to be permanent residencies. And hopefully the youth, as we're building our tiny home village, they'll be with us for only as long as necessary. While this is only a temporary setup, the Stepping Stone staff say their first resident is excited to move into their new home. In Wayne County, Lane Ball, 13 News, working for you. The official opening date of the first tiny home has not been released yet, and we'll have more information on the project on our website at wowktv.com. Well, yesterday,